Hi there, and welcome to PJ Stats, the stats that you can do while you're still in your PJs. In this episode, we're going to be talking about statistical hypothesis testing, uh, and in particular, I want to introduce you to something uh, that I call the hypothesis wheel. So let's get straight into it. Here it is. Here's the hypothesis wheel. Um, the first thing that you'll notice is that the, it's not one wheel, there are two wheels. Um, the first one, the bigger one, is uh, for when you're doing univariate analysis, and the second one for when you're doing the smaller one, when you're doing multivariate analysis. Now, another thing that you'll notice straight away, I'm sure, is uh, when you look at it, you can't see any detail. And the reason is because there's so much on here that in a, a video of this size, I just simply cannot show it you all. But I wouldn't worry about that because I'm going to give you uh, a free uh, Ultra HD image of the hypothesis wheel that you can download and keep. And the details of this are going to be coming up right at the end of this video. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to give you a four step guide to using the hypothesis wheel so that you can choose the correct hypothesis test every time. Okay, the very first step that you need to do is you need to deduce the properties of your hypothesis variable. And I'm going to go through exactly what properties there are that they, they are that you need to work out. After that, you need to deduce the properties of your predictor variable. Now, as it turns out, that the, the properties of each of these two variables are they're the same ones. So you usually do these two steps together. Steps one and two go together. Once you've got all the properties of your two comparison variables, you need to deduce the parameters of the relationship. And again, I'm going to ex explain exactly what, what they are uh, very soon. And once you've got all of that information, you can then take them to the hypothesis wheel and look up the statistic that you need to use for, uh, for your particular data analysis. Okay, in terms of uh, the first two steps, your variable properties for your uh, hypothesis variable and your predictor variable. What you need to know is the data type of these two variables. You need to know the data distribution and the number of classes. I'm going to go through these now. Data types. Basically, there are just two types of data. There's quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative data uh, are the numbers that you measure. Uh, it, you, will, you should recognize them very easily. A number would be something like 1.234. It will have a decimal point, uh, whereas quantitative, it's qualitative data, these are mostly categories, so they don't have uh, decimal points, and the categories will often be named. Sometimes they can be numbered, one, two, three, and so on, but quite often they'll be named categories. Now, these qu qualitative and quantitative data types, you can subdivide them further into ratio, interval, ordinal, and nominal. And these are the four data types that you need to know for your data. For, for every variable that you have in your data set, you need to uh, identify which data type, which of these four data types each variable is. It's really important information. Then you can move on for your uh, continuous data, uh, your quantitative data, uh, what distribution they are. Are they normal, normal distribution or a non-normal distribution? This is important information too. And then when you go for your categorical data, we need to know how many classes there are, two or more than two. Now, I'll give you an example of what I mean by classes. Now, gender has two classes male and female, whereas uh, Colours of the Rainbow has seven classes, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Ho hopefully those examples will, will get you to understand what I mean by classes. Also, uh, cate categories, you can think of them as categories. Okay, so these are the things that you need to know in terms of the, the two variables that you're going to compare. The data type, the distribution and the number of classes. Once you've got that information, write it down, put it to one side. Then you want to know about the relationship parameters. You need to know the analysis type of the analysis that you're going to do. Basically, for, for this, you need to know whether you're going to do a univariate test or a multivariate test. And that will tell you which of your two hypothesis wheels to look on. Okay, let's have a quick look at the hypothesis wheel, at a little section of it, so that we understand that there, there are various parts to it. Now, Way over on the right hand side, in the centre, uh, we're talking here about, uh, this is where you start, always start in the centre and move out towards the outside. 
uh, the in purple it's these are all the properties of your hypothesis variable in red you've got the properties of your predictor variable moving further out in blue these are your relationship parameters and in the orange the the outer rim this is the hypothesis test that you will be selecting okay so by now what you should have for your hypothesis and predictive variables you should have the data type for each of these two variables you should know what it is you should know what your distribution is and the number of classes and you should also know uh, the uh, the particular relationship type that you've got the analysis type whether it's univariate or multivariate and from there we can go to the hypothesis wheel and we can we can check out which particular hypothesis test we're going to use so let, let's go through an example here let's say that you've got an ordinal data type and it's got more than two classes so here in in the center you've got the, the data type ordinal and you've got two classes sorry more than two classes you have more than two classes on this and on your predictive variable let's say this is nominal and that's got two classes so here we are we've got the nominal data type here and it's not mentioned here the number of classes that we have and the reason is because if the uh, hypothesis variable has got more than two classes it doesn't matter how many classes your predictive variable has got because the the hypothesis test that you use for a, a univariate analysis is always a chi-squared test. So I could have separated this out into uh, two categories here and more than two categories, but both of them would have led straight in to chi-squared test because that's where they end up anyway. Okay, so hopefully you've got an understanding now of, of how you would use the hypothesis wheel. Okay, so if you want the, uh, the free download in Ultra HD of the Hypothesis Wheel, uh, there's, the, uh, there's the URL here. And I'm also going to put it uh, at the bottom underneath this video. Okay, this has been a PJ Stats video. If you've enjoyed this and you want some more, hit the subscribe button and you'll be the first to know when the new uh, video comes out. Thank you very much for listening.